since mohair fabric has a really thick pile that poses challenges to work with, I'm going to just share a couple of tips I've found helpful for sewing with mohair fabric. This is a piece that I've put together to see how workable it is at many thicknesses. And I just want to give you a demonstration here of how thick that pile is. It's about an eighth of an inch thick for a single layer. And for this particular test is for a pillow, a welted pillow. So you have the zipper with a flap covering the zipper and then this piece. So I actually have seven thicknesses here, including the face fabric that doesn't have the zipper on it, the welt, and then the back fabric that has the zipper attached with the flap covering it. So there is one spot here where you have seven thicknesses plus the zipper. Stitching through seven layers is doable on an industrial machine, but you probably could not do it on a home machine. The first challenge is going to be to pin these layers together, and I found the best fasteners for mohair or any heavy fabric are either clips or staples in that order of preference, with pins coming last. My favorite fasteners are these super strong clips that you can find in any fabric or hobby store. I'll demonstrate by fastening the welt to the face of the pillow that doesn't have the zipper on it. The small one inch clips are the perfect size for the half inch seam allowance. I'll put a pin in here to show you the difference. Since this fabric sandwich is about three eighths of an inch thick, it's difficult to pin smoothly. For instance, you might end up with this bunching of the layers around the pins. You can see here where I've used the clips, it's pretty straight. Another fastener you can use is this plier stapler. I mean, I've got the clips on here, so it makes it easy. So you can stick a staple in just away from the seam allowance. And I'm just doing this with the clips to make it easier to demonstrate. So those staples are holding that together and they do a pretty smooth job of it. You can use a home stapler for this. Sometimes they don't get as close to the edge. The staple is further back. It's just a little harder to get some staplers within the seam allowance. Get around that corner. I absolutely love these clips because they really don't budge. And you want to make sure that your all your layers are taut. You want this to be nice and snug and not getting wrinkles in it. For the final tip, I'll show you a quickie welt join method that works for really any fabric. Okay, we've got it all clipped together with the welt clipped onto the face of this pillow. Where the welt is joined together, I've stapled it. When I stitch across here, I will join those two ends as best I can so that they look as seamless as possible. One important note, I cut a V in the end of the welt fabric to allow it to fold neatly into the seam allowance. That just reduces the bulk so that it lays flat. So then I just finish that seam it's not a perfectly invisible join, and it's not the only way to join welt with this fabric, though it may be the fastest way. Now I'll remove these staples and show you the finished product. Now I've finished stitching this together and I've turned it right side out, and you can see there was just a little bit of a divot there where the welt join is. But overall, I think it's going to work. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and put any questions in the comments below.